We have three different parts of exponents we're going to talk about today. All of them are very exciting. All of them you will look at and go, we are much smarter today than we were back in the day. Uh, and the first one is exponents with expanded notation. Does anybody remember expanded notation? Um, what is expanded notation, Joe? Um, if you had like two thousand, then we two impression. Oh, that. Don't do that. I don't care. We were going. I was just going kind of uh, doing two, something while you were explaining. Two thousand. You put two times one thousand in parentheses. Or if it was like two thousand thirty. Then you put two times. Perfect. Yeah, I can get this there. Fifty thousand three hundred in expanded notation was five times ten thousand, because that's fifty thousand, plus three times one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Are we doing that? I think we still probably do it every now and then. Well, we're going to do the same thing, and maybe we've done this already. It seems kind of familiar. Okay. We're going to do the same thing, except instead of writing ten these things, the ten to a thousand and the three to the hundred, we are going to use the exponents of ten that are the same thing as those. And hopefully, you remember or know this: ten to the first power is ten, right? Ten to the second power, or ten times ten is a hundred. Ten to the third power, which is uh, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And maybe you can see the pattern there. Maybe you can see that the exponent is how many zeros come after the 1, just the way it works there. So rather than writing these big, long numbers, 100,000, 10, 1,000, have you done this before? Okay, rather than do that, you are going to write it as 5 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, fourth power plus 3 times 10 to the second power. Are you with me? Are you getting what's shaking down here? 7,400,030. If I'm writing that in expanded notation using exponents, it is going to be 7 times 10 to what power? All you have to do is count the digits that follow the 7 in the number. That's going to be the exponent of the 10, which in this case happens to be, Riley? Um, 10 to the 6th power. Very good. Put that in parentheses. Plus 4 times 10 to the, how many digits follow the 4, Elijah? 5th power. Plus 3 times 10 to the, how many digits follow the 3? 1st power. What if it's a number? What about this? What if there was a 5 at the end there, you ask? What would that be? That would still be 5 times 10 to, well, it would be just 5 times 1. You could write it as 10 times to what power? Does anybody know? Well, logically, look what happened. If this 3 was 10 to the first power, that 5 would have to be 10 to the 0 power. Because anything to the 0 power is 1. Everybody pretty happy with that? All right, next with exponents, we talk about exponents in order of operations. And I'm hoping you got that in your notes somewhere. If you remember, order of operations follow this, this, this little pattern here. And it's easiest to remember if you do this. Please excuse my dear aunt. Does anybody have an Aunt Sally? I apologize if you do. Do you have a Grandma Sally? Yeah. Anybody know what that means or why I said that? Order of operations have to follow this uh, pattern. You have to do the P, which stands for parentheses first. 
And then step number two is you have to do exponents next. And then step three is you do multiplication and division from left to right. And then the last thing you do is addition and subtraction from left to right. When you do a problem that has all those different choices in it, you have to follow these steps in that order. Otherwise, you are not going to get the wrong right answer. Jen? What does the E Exponents. E is exponents, what we're talking about today. P is parentheses or grouping symbols, if you will. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So here is a big old fat example. Five, hold on a sec. I know you're excited about seeing me do this. Because it never works for me. It hasn't worked yet. Suggestions? I need a big okay. Given enough time, children, I will get it done. Uh-huh. Okay. need enough room here. Write this down. Five, and by the way, those of you that want to be fishers rather than sentence writers, pay close attention to this. Eight plus eight. Uh, divided by the square root of 16 plus 3 squared times 2. So times was I guess they can put a multiplication sign on your side. You will know that you are doing this right if your final result looks a little bit like a tornado. Well, let me tell you why that is. Order of operations, step number one, I have to do parentheses. Do you see a parenthesis in there? Yes, I do. Jenny Leeds, what do I get when I do the parentheses? What is 8 plus 8? 16. All right, so now I have 5, parentheses are gone, minus 16, divided by the square root of 16 plus 3 squared times 2. After parentheses, I need to do exponents and roots. By the way, these are the same thing. Exponents and roots fall in the same thing. Right. Put that there. Which means I need to do the square root of 16 and 3 squared, which are, what is the square root of 16, Dave? And what is 3 squared? Joules? 3 squared, 3 times 3 is? 9. 9. Now I've got, I'm left with this. Then the next thing, and here's where you have to be a little bit more careful, multiplication and division from left to right. So you start at the left side and work your way this way, and that's the way you got to do it. 16 divided by 4 is 4. I still have this 5 minus there. Plus 9 times 2 is 18. I didn't change colors, And then the last step is addition, subtraction from left to right. So I have to do this. I can't do this first and then do this. I have to go from left to right. 5 minus 4 is 1, and 1 plus 18 is 19. And like I said, you know you've done this right if, in the end, your problem ends up looking a lot like a tornado with your answer down there at the bottom. Because many of you, because of the sinful nature that you were all born with, like to think that you can jump and do like six of these steps all at once and you just get this and then go right to an answer. And some of you are capable of it at times, but really why risk it? Why risk the multiple sentences? The endless homework additions. Questions on that? You're ready for one. Here, let me give you one to you, for you to try. Because if you don't follow order of operations, you won't get this right. Here it is. 10 plus 2 cubed. 10 plus 2 cubed uh, times 3 minus 7 in parentheses. Sorry, 7 
plus 2 divided by the square root of 9. I'm sorry. Yeah, the square root of 9. 10 plus 2 cubed times 3 minus the parentheses 7 plus 2 divided by the square root of 9. Go ahead. Jump all over that. Let's see if you get the right answer. And if yours looks like a tornado, follow the order. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, roots. Please excuse my multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. One cannot be careless when it comes to this. Attention to detail. Interest of time here. Emily gets 37. 37. Anybody jumping on the 37 again, Wayne? So we got something else. John? 25. 25. Anybody jumping on the 25? Man, ooh, we got a couple takers. Anybody got something else? Luke? 31. Anybody jumping on the 31 man wagon? Anybody got anything else? Riley? I got 21. 21. We got something else? Jaden? 42. 42. Hmm. And we got something else? Joe? I got 16. 16. All right. Well, questions are us. Let's follow the order of operations. First thing to do is this. So we'll see where we lost some of you. 10 plus 2 cubed times 3 minus 7 plus 2 is 9 divided by the square root of 9. Who's still, who's still in the game? How many people at least got the first step down right? All right. Next thing we're supposed to do are exponents and roots. So 10, 2 to the third power is not 6. I hope you didn't put that. It's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. How many people did we lose because of that? Oh, good. Times 3 minus 9 divided by the square root of 9 is 3. Who's still in the game? Uh, I like it. Um, all right, uh, let's go with it. Next thing you do is multiplication division from left to right. As you read the problem, the first one you come across is 10 plus 8 times 3 is 24. And then you come to 9 divided by 3, which is 3. Still in the game? All right, black. And then addition and subtraction from left to right. Okay, you can't take 24 minus 3. Why do you think that in this case? 20, 10 plus 24 is 34. And 34 minus 3 is 31. And you can see the cyclonic swirling effect. <laughs> And last, under your notes, please put this. Exponents with fractions. Exponents with fractions. The third thing about exponents, and it should not confuse you, but if you see this, you'll have to have the fraction in parentheses and an exponent to it. Okay, don't let that confuse, scare, or frighten you. 
that just means two thirds squared means two thirds times two thirds. Two thirds times itself. And it's easy to multiply fractions because you just multiply across and you get four ninths. Or if you have one third to the third power. That would be one third times one third times one third. One times one times one is one. Three times three is nine times three is seven. Or I guess we should do this too. Couple other things. What if it is a mixed number? What about one and one third squared? Anybody suggestions out there? Brianna? Yeah, you need to make it improper first, make it four thirds, and then square that. Four thirds times four thirds, which is 16 ninths, which is one and seven ninths. And then what about decimals? This is always my favorite here. 0.2 to the third power. Grace Christ, without doing the problem, can you tell me the answer? What do you think the answer to that is? We just fired out here. Can't mark it. It's a two, right? What are you thinking it would be? Point twelve. Interesting. Very interesting. Drew. One point six. Brooklyn? 1.8. Jill? 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6. And this why, kids, I don't want to go anymore because I don't want to make anybody else feel worse than they already are. This is why you write this out because nobody, nobody got that right. 0. 0.2 times 0. 0.2 times 0. 0.2. 0 0.2 times 0 0.2, the first one, you get 4 with how many decimal places? 2. So it's 0 0.04. 0 0.04 times the next 0 0.2 is 8. How many decimal points do you have to have now? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is actually 0 0.008. Jane, was that where you were born? I don't think so. Why who? I don't know, maybe you could. If you're sure that you get, I mean, you do two to the third power, make sure it has three decimal places, but you may, not, you may not be fishing very well. I know you're a fisherman, so I don't want to just be giving the fish. That is, kids, the reason why 